22 years after Paul Allen found his wife murdered in their apartment, he continues to maintain his innocence. Allen is serving a life sentence convicted of hiring two people to kill her. Now, his appeals have been repeatedly denied. In part two of our exclusive story with Allen, ABC 4's Marcus Ortiz explains how the road to justice is being blocked by someone who was supposed to be on Allen's side. Paul Allen remains locked up here at the state prison. We managed to talk with him over the phone lines because prison policy does not allow inmates to be video recorded. Now, we did talk with him. He tells ABC4 News about his past troubles with his former attorney, who's now facing numerous ethical violations. I can finally prove it now. We've, we've, we've spent years trying to retrieve information and obtaining evidence to prove my innocence. Paul Allen says he didn't put the hit on his wife, Jill, who was found murdered in 1996 at their North Salt Lake apartment. But two former acquaintances, Joey Wright, seen here taken into custody in 1997, and George Anthony Taylor took plea deals and admitted Allen hired them to murder his wife. In 2000, thanks to their testimony, Allen was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. I, I was sick of it. I, 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 I didn't even know how to, how to take it. It was the hardest thing to be, you know. Uh, I had confidence in the system, and, and my attorney kept giving me all the confidence in the world that everything was going great. Hello. My name is Richard Uday. This is the attorney Alan turned to, Richard Uday, seen here in his own promotional video found on the internet. Alan's family paid him more than $30,000 to work on his latest appeal, but Alan claims Uday hasn't done anything to help his case. And then this attorney, um, out of the blue, abandoned after my parents paid him and, and, and stole all their money. And to this day, he's reluctant to give us back our property. According to court records, Uday has disappeared, failing to appear in court on Allen's behalf, and failing to file paperwork to get Allen's latest appeal heard before a judge. Eighteen months ago, Allen filed a complaint with the Utah State Bar, which led to an investigation of Uday's practice. In a separate civil action last spring, a judge ruled Uday, having failed to comply, ordered him to repay Allen. Uday has yet to pay Allen his money. Allen now has a new attorney working on his latest effort to clear his name. Unfortunately, it started by an attorney who didn't follow through, who, who really in every respect dropped the ball. Uh, we don't know why or we don't know what was going on there, but the case has languished. Efforts to locate Uday were unsuccessful. He was evicted from his office in Salt Lake City for failing to pay thousands of dollars in rent owed. And last week, the Utah State Bar issued a civil complaint that could get Uday disbarred. Their Office of Professional Conduct filed 41 ethical violations involving 14 clients, including Paul Allen. Uday is accused of taking more than $166,000 from them. According to the complaint, Uday failed to keep accounting records, failed to return advance fees, made false statements to the court, and took funds that belonged to others without authorization. Good morning. We're here this morning in the matter of Paul Allen versus Richard Uday, who today appeared in court to fight the default judgment, requiring him to pay Allen the $30,000 back. After hearing arguments from both sides, the judge ordered Uday to pay up. This is not just a simple default. This is a situation in which there was a pattern of failing to answer, failing to make disclosures, failure to comply with the court's orders, and, and without any uh, really good reason. Uday left without any comment. It's a bittersweet moment for Paul Allen. He remains locked up, but for now, got justice against an attorney who was supposed to be on his side. So I sit here without getting my property back needed for that while this attorney is continuing to practice. Now, if you or I did this, we would probably be facing criminal charges. But for attorneys, it's different. You sue in civil court to get your money back. But according to court records, Uday owes thousands of dollars in back taxes, and many businesses are hounding him for money owed. At the state prison, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.